Bluetooth has revolutionized how we connect and interact with our devices. From wireless headphones and smartwatches to fitness trackers and even car infotainment systems, this technology offers unmatched convenience. But beneath all that convenience, there's a significant risk. Bluetooth hacking. Hi, I'm Josh, and this channel is dedicated to helping you become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro. Fast! In this video, we'll dive deep into Bluetooth hacking, how it works, the risks it poses, and most importantly, how you can protect yourself from becoming a victim. Let's get into it. First of all, let's break down what Bluetooth hacking actually is. Bluetooth hacking involves exploiting vulnerabilities in Bluetooth technology to compromise devices. These attacks can range from stealing personal information to remotely controlling a device. Bluetooth operates on a short-range wireless communication protocol, typically effective within 10 to 100 meters. While its limited range might seem like a built-in safety feature, it's not enough to stop determined attackers. Hackers can use specialized tools to breach devices within Bluetooth range, even in crowded areas like cafes, airports, or public transportation hubs. There are two main categories of Bluetooth vulnerabilities, those related to specific device flaws and those inherent to the protocol itself. In this video, we'll focus on attacks that exploit weaknesses in the Bluetooth protocol, flaws that cybercriminals can use to their advantage. By understanding these vulnerabilities, you'll be better equipped to protect yourself in an increasingly connected world. Let's dive into some of the most common techniques used in Bluetooth hacking, starting with one of the most disruptive methods. 1. Bluetooth Denial of Service Attacks One of the simplest yet disruptive attacks is the Bluetooth Denial of Service Attack. In this attack, a hacker floods the target device with connection requests or data packets, overwhelming it to the point of dysfunction. The device may freeze, lose its connection to other devices, or crash entirely. DOS attacks are often used to disrupt industrial operations or simply to annoy individuals. Devices that don't limit the rate of incoming connection requests are particularly vulnerable. Hey, sorry for interrupting your video, but I wanted to know, are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We created Learn Ethical Hacking from Scratch course just for you and it's the perfect way to get started in this course you will learn how ethical hackers find vulnerabilities in your system networks and applications you will learn hands-on skills like penetration testing exploiting the weakness in a system and all the tools that hackers use you will also learn how to stay on the right side of the law Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries in the world and hackers are high in demand. The global cybersecurity market is expected to reach $400 billion by 2028. There's never been a better time for you to jump in. Ethical hackers earn from $90,000 US dollars to $120,000 US dollars annually. Experts in this field make even more. So are you ready to kickstart your journey into ethical hacking? This course is your key to mastering hacking. We have placed the link to this course in the description. Enroll today and get started on a lucrative career path. Now back to the video. 2. Impersonation Attacks in an impersonation attack, also known as a Bluetooth impersonation attack, the hacker's device mimics a trusted one. For example, a hacker could disguise their device as your wireless headphones or smartwatch. When your device attempts to reconnect, it unknowingly pairs with the attacker's device, granting them access to your data. This type of attack requires the hacker to know specific details about the device they're impersonating, including its unique Bluetooth address. Re Sniffing and Eavesdropping Bluetooth sniffing involves intercepting and capturing data exchanged between devices. Tools like Ubertooth One and Wireshark make this possible. Hackers can capture unencrypted data such as passwords, personal messages, and financial information. 
Devices using outdated Bluetooth versions or lacking robust encryption are particularly vulnerable to sniffing attacks. 4. Bluejacking and Blue Snarfing Bluejacking and Blue Snarfing are two classic Bluetooth attacks. Bluejacking involves sending unsolicited messages to nearby devices, while Blue Snarfing allows hackers to access and steal files from a device. These attacks often exploit devices left in discoverable mode making them easy targets. 5. Blueborn Attacks Blueborn is a particularly dangerous attack that exploits vulnerabilities in older Bluetooth systems. Unlike other attacks, Blueborn doesn't require pairing or discoverable mode. Instead, it allows hackers to gain complete control over a device by exploiting unpatched vulnerabilities. While many modern devices have received updates to protect against Blueborn, numerous Internet of Things devices, car infotainment systems, and medical equipment still run older, unpatched versions of Bluetooth. So, this brings us to an important question. How do hackers actually carry out these attacks? Well, if you're wondering about the tools they use to exploit Bluetooth vulnerabilities, here are some of the most commonly used ones. Spooftooth. This tool allows hackers to spoof Bluetooth devices, making their device appear as a legitimate one. BTS Scanner. BTS Scanner can extract valuable information from nearby Bluetooth devices, such as device names, Bluetooth addresses, and supported services, without needing to pair with them. Ubertooth One A powerful Bluetooth sniffing tool, Ubertooth One can intercept data being transmitted between devices. BetterCap A versatile penetration testing framework, BetterCap is often used for Bluetooth low-energy attacks. It can intercept, manipulate, and analyze data between devices. Redfang. This tool is used to discover hidden Bluetooth devices that do not broadcast their presence. While these tools are designed for cybersecurity research and testing, they can be misused by malicious actors. Understanding how they work helps individuals and organizations take appropriate measures to secure their devices. Now that we've seen how hackers exploit Bluetooth vulnerabilities and the tools they use to do so, the question becomes, how can you stay safe? Let's shift gears and focus on what really matters, protecting yourself. Here are some practical steps you can take to safeguard against Bluetooth hacking. One, turn off Bluetooth when not in use. One of the simplest yet most effective precautions is to turn off Bluetooth when you're not using it. Leaving it on unnecessarily increases the chances of your device being discovered and targeted by hackers. Two. Keep your devices updated. Ensure that all your devices, including smartphones, laptops, and IoT devices, have the latest software updates. These updates often include security patches that protect against known vulnerabilities, such as Blueborn. 3. Use undiscoverable mode. When in discoverable mode, your device broadcasts its presence to other Bluetooth devices, making it easier for hackers to identify and target it. Set your device to undiscoverable mode to stay under the radar. 4. Avoid public pairing. Pairing your device in public places can expose it to hackers who might be monitoring the area. Always pair devices in a secure, private environment. 5. Check app permissions. Many apps request access to Bluetooth for legitimate reasons, but some may misuse this access. Regularly review app permissions on your device and revoke access for apps that don't need it. 6. Use strong authentication. For devices that support it, enable strong authentication methods, such as PIN codes or biometric security, to prevent unauthorized access. 7. Monitor Bluetooth activity. Keep an eye on your device's Bluetooth connections. If you notice an unfamiliar device connected, disconnect it immediately and investigate further. 8. Invest in security tools. Consider using cybersecurity tools designed to detect and block Bluetooth attacks. Some advanced antivirus programs and penetration testing tools can help identify vulnerabilities in your devices. While individual steps to protect yourself are crucial, it's also important to consider the broader implications of Bluetooth security. In today's world, where the Internet of Things is rapidly expanding, Bluetooth has become an essential technology woven into our daily lives. This brings us to the bigger picture, Bluetooth security in the IoT era. From smart home devices to medical equipment, 
Bluetooth enables seamless connectivity but also creates new opportunities for hackers. IoT devices often lack robust security measures, making them prime targets for attacks. It's crucial for manufacturers to prioritize security during the development phase and for users to stay vigilant. Governments and organizations are also stepping in to address these challenges. Initiatives like the Bluetooth SIGs security standards aim to improve the technology's resilience against attacks. However, the responsibility ultimately lies with users to stay informed and adopt best practices. As we've explored, Bluetooth offers incredible convenience, but it also comes with vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit. While understanding these risks and taking preventative measures is crucial, it's equally important to stay informed as technology evolves. By staying informed and proactive, you can enjoy the benefits of Bluetooth technology without compromising your safety. If you have any questions or tips of your own, feel free to share them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech insights and security tips. Stay safe and stay connected. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.